Okay, so today we're going to fit a snorkel to Mitsubishi Delica. Um, you're going to need to take a few things out first. Um, if you take out the side like cluster, and there's a separate video for that, so I'll put a link in this video, go away and do that first. Um, the next thing you're going to need to do is take out the air box. So we'll just start by undoing this thing on top. Four of these clips around the outside. Just pull them down like that. The top of the airbox will come off. Mine's full of mud. <laughs> Take the filter out. Okay, now you've got a 10 millimeter bolt at the top here. to lift the airbox out. That was easy. <laughs> Just gonna pop this back in here so that I know where it came from. And then the other thing you're gonna have to remove is all the way around the wheel arch is some plastic trim. That all needs to come out so that you can get to the bits you need to get to. I can't show you how to do that because mine's already come off. Um, the puddle took it off. But basically just work your way all the way around it and you'll find little plastic trim clips. Along the actual arch itself it's got a few bolts. You just need to undo them and the, the whole lot should come out. Okay now inside the wing there's sort of plastic, it's kind of a ram's horn looking thing, which feeds the air into the air box. Presumably it's designed to stop water getting in there. Um, you need to take that out. Around the hole where we just removed the air, the air box on a couple of bolts, so you need to go and undo those. And on mine, the nut is turning on the back, so I'm going to have to go and get another spanner. Okay, not a spanner, long nose pliers. <laughs> Let's get hold of those.
Now there's there's one more nut um, bolt up the back. loose in there. Now really it's just a case of manoeuvring it until you can get it out downwards through the wheel arch. Um, there's a big cable in the way so it will be tricky. Um, just keep going until you put it out. Here's mine out. You can see it's got a little bit of water in it so snorkel is long overdue for me. Right so it turns out <coughs> this is how it sits on the wing. When, it's, when all the bolts are off, the easiest way to get it out is to pull down on the front. And when you're probably about that angle, slide it forward and then it'll just come down and out. You do have to kind of bend in a bit as it comes, but it, it will come out. Um, so that's all the bits you need to take off. Okay, so this is a Mark One L400. Um, <clears throat> the template that comes with the snorkel is for a, a Mark Two. I think that's right. <laughs> um, it doesn't really relate to anything on the side of, the, of this car. So I'm going to wing it a bit. What I'm going to do from the hole in the other side, where the air filter box is attached to the, the Ramstorm thing, I'm going to try and drill a hole exactly in the centre of that in the arch to give me a starting point. A bit risky, give it a go. That's our starting point. Next thing I'm going to do is get a hole saw and drill a hole in it. And I can see by putting this, the hollow drill, roughly in the middle of the the snorkel goes into the car that is in about the right place. 
So I'm going to go ahead and drill that hole. Hope we get lucky. I've had a good hold for. Battery's running out on the drill. <laughs> Okay, so the whole saw took a long time. Um, when I was done with that, it was pretty much in the right place, and the snorkel would fit. It didn't. It wasn't quite sitting right. So I've used a jigsaw to just take a little bit more off the top. That's why it's not a circle anymore. But remember, we've got them to play with because the snorkel is quite big. So now, slots through the inner hole and the outer hole. See how like a ridge on the back. Shoot about there. Okay now the next thing we've got to do is drill holes for all of these and our template doesn't fit properly. <laughs> so just cut the template out roughly there so you haven't followed any of the lines. All I really wanted was the hole where the snorkel goes through and the holes for the individual bits. that on there and line all the holes up with the bolt holes underneath. Then offer it up to the car and then stick the template to the car. Hopefully that'll work. <laughs> it's a bit, a bit risky. They all line up now. Okay, so I'm going to go get some tape and do that.
hopefully that will give us where all our holes are going. So I'm going to use a hammer and a punch to put a little dent everywhere I want a hole. Put in the centre of where I have to Behind there, I should now have four holes. A little, a little punch. Hole. Find a 30 millimeter drill bit so we can drill those out. Okay. really lucky to be able to feel the holes in the back of the snort through those. It's going to be sharp though, remember that. these down a bit. What you'll definitely want to do is put something on there to stop them rusting. I'm going to get a bit of hammer right in a minute. Just, just give them a little coat of paint. This will rust quite quickly. <laughs> okay, I fitted all the threaded uh, nuts onto the snorkel. They've got a hex key in one end, so make sure that end's sticking out. It doesn't really matter now, but 
you might net in the future. I've also attached the bracket that will hold it further up. You know, I didn't do this all, I only did it hand tight because I need to mark out where I'm going to cut the holes. That's two on. I'll uh, I'll do the rest and get back to the video. Okay, here's a little tip. Don't screw these all the way in. Just put them in a little bit because there's not much room out the back, um, and they don't really go through. It's bulk is tightening them up that pulls them closer in so if you can leave as much as you can sticking out without you don't want them so loose that they fall off leave as much as you can sticking out that you can get at them okay two more top tips if you're working on your own you need to be the top nut the top bolt is really hard to get the washer and the nut on um, I used um, one of these just to hold it in place now just want to do it if you've got someone with you they can just lean on it um, actually that gave me a lot of free space which someone leaning on it wouldn't okay all the four nuts that you can do are in I had to abandon the top bracket for now I have to have a think about it because it just doesn't line up with anything it kind of lines up but not properly, so I'll have to come back to that at a later date. I'll just try not to reverse into any trees. The next thing we need to do is refit the airbox. I'm going to move the camera for that so that you can see better. I've also got to give my airbox a bit of a clean. fit over the end of the snorkel. The snorkel comes with this flexible tube. Fortunately this flexible tube will fit over the end of the air box. Although you're going to be left with a little hole at the bottom. But what I'm going to do is just put some tape over it and seal it. Then put tape, a little bit of tape on the inside as well. Um, and that should keep it watertight. And I'm going to use a Jubilee kip around here to hold that on. I'll go off and do that. I'm also probably going to put some sealant around the inside of here. Okay, 
I did exactly what I said I was going to do. It's all sealed around there. It'll take about 24 hours to set properly though. Now, I'm going to feed this back in. Make sure it's nice and tight because you don't want any water getting in there. Okay, so the Jubilee kit's attached, both ends. And now I just need to. So that's a much tighter fit than it once was. <laughs> pressure to the back there. Whilst I do this up, I need to keep it in the right place. Filter back in, pop the lid on, and then reattach this and tighten that up. I'm not going to do that right now because I had to wash my filter out um, and it's drying. Um, but basically, that's our snorkel fixed. Reattach your side light as well, don't forget to do that. Okay, I'm just going to put this on the top as a Jubilee clip. So you just slide on.
Lovely. <laughs>